do have an accent. It's a Cuban accent. But I want you to know that I learned to love the flag as a Vietnam Army nurse. It was not a good experience, but it was an incredible experience that allowed me to get to know men in a way that I would have never been able to. To know them at the most <laughs> difficult time of their life as they were dying. To see them reach in their pockets full of blood and take out a picture of you. A picture of the mother or the child or their wife. A picture that they have carried with them to give them comfort and love through a war that us all war have the horror parts of woundedness and death. I want to give you today three things. One is a symbol that I want you to pick up for yourself that will remind you not only their love for the country, but your own love. My symbol today is the flag. Because as they left, as they left the hospital, as they left in the bag, the blanket that we covered them with was the flag. And the flag for me now represents a blanket of love of those of us who love them in life and in death. I want to give you another symbol. And I want you to think of a word or a phrase that helps you at the time of most difficult and at the time of more pain. One day, I was in the emergency room as the helicopter was bringing them. And it was not a good day. In two hours, we saw 60 wounded men, 60. And I was so angry and I was so much in pain. symbolic and the minister the chaplain walked in and as he walked in he came towards me and he said how are you doing and I said to him don't talk to me about God right now and he gave me the best advice about God I have ever heard he said Margarita be as angry as you want with God but don't ever stop the dialogue. So as you deal with your pain, as you deal with your anger, as you deal with question of why him, why her, why now, why in this world, whatever is your spiritual belief, hold on to that. Be as angry as you want. Cry, curse, do whatever you need to do to deal with that pain that is so deep, but don't ever stop the dialogue. The third symbol I want to give you is you. You might have some regrets like I do. I regret that I did not write to their families as they die in my arm. I regret that I didn't write to those wives, those mothers, and those children and said to them, let me tell you how he left. I am sorry that I was not able to write to some of them and said, let me tell you how he asked for you. So even if you never heard that about your loved one, know that it probably did happen. So put your regrets aside today. Just take the learning from them and know what can you do now? How can I do it differently?